नमस्कार डॉक्टर हजमा नेपुला जी ऑनरेबल गवर्नर ऑफ मणिपुर कैफे इंडिया हिज एक्सलेंसी श्री सौरभ कुमार जी एम्बेसडर ऑफ इंडिया टू म्यांमार हिज एक्सलेंसी श्री मे चौ ओंग जी एम्बेसडर ऑफ द रिपब्लिक ऑफ द यूनियन ऑफ म्यांमार टू इंडिया मिंगलाबा श्री एम पी पेश बरवाजी नमस्कार चेयरमैन गवर्निंग काउंसिल एशियन कन्फ्लुएंस एंड आदर डिस्टिंग पार्टिसिपेंट आई पे माई रेस्पेक्ट एंड रिगार्ड टू ऑल द पार्टिसिपेंट टूडे द टू मेजर एशियन रिवराइन नेशन इज कन्फ्लुएंस अंडर ब्रह्मपुत्र एवदी कन्वेंशन कन्वर्जेशन ऑन इंडो म्यांमार कॉर्पोरेशन फॉर vibrant and prosperous border i am extremely privileged to join this momentous event today and sharing some of my humble thought on the vibrant and prosperous john in the indo myanmar region after decades of isolation india's eastern neighbor myanmar is now perceived as a link to new capable capacity building of threat and commerce the transformation of look is policy into the must coveted act is policy has also added to the significance of myanmar in india's consideration of foreign policy over the years india's policy towards myanmar has been largely set by security and stability at the border diffusing cross border insurgents group and economic development of the northeastern states accordingly myanmar has extended all support of out uh, curbing insurgency and militancy on its border reciprocity of the indian side uh on the indian side is visible in supporting myanmar to promote democratic values and rebuild its institution along the socio economic reforms so far as india's interest in myanmar is concerned it is stepping up its development cooperations in the light of the myanmar's continuing reform process it is also rejuvenating its historical and cultural tie though sheer historical cultural linkages between india and myanmar abound our mythologies and literature and the influence that india has on its captivating land cannot be underestimated both india and myanmar have agreed to start a cultural exchange program cep with a wide range of activities introducing dance music yoga thangta martial art like burmese tan etc to deepen the close bonds between the peoples of india and myanmar to foster and strengthen cultural relations and mutual understanding between india and other country indian council for cultural relations was established in 1951 and many cultural exchanges program have been organizing between india and myanmar for the last many decades and keeping effort to leverage on soft power diplomacy and fostering deeper economic and business link for boosting its engagement with myanmar india has kept its focus on development assistance supporting through grant in aid line of credit training programs and provision for expert knowledge and capacity building initiatives the high impact community development project and the border area development project have been crucial in reaching out to the states in the border region of myanmar 
and boosting the people to people contest. In its recent effort under India-Myanmar Friendship Project, India has handed over 250 prefabricated houses in the Rakhine state for the rehabilitation of refugee after their return. It is already mentioned by our honorable ambassador to Burma. According to our prime minister, I quote, the extent and depth of the India-Myanmar relationship is visible in the robust development cooperation partnership, which has a strong people first philosophy. India stands ready to enhance our development partnership with Myanmar and do so as per the priorities of the Myanmar government, unquote. Along with the sheer culture, cultural and historical linkages, India has a great deal to offer religion, spiritualism, and film industry in the form of Buddhism, yoga, and Bollywood have been the strength of India's soft power diplomacy, and it has been a connecting ground, ground with Myanmar for centuries. Therefore, it may be said that India is a neighbor which Myanmar cannot afford to ignore. There is also demand that India government should introduce international bus service linking Moray with Mandalay. The bus service linking Moray with Mandalay would not only just help the trader, but also bring in tourists from Myanmar to India. Nevertheless, the engagement with India in recent time in the economic field and the trade statistics have not been satisfactory. The two countries have also signed several bilateral investment promotion agreement facilitating, facilitating their venture in each other country as of April 2019, India's investment in Myanmar reached $767 million, ranking 11th in the lineup of foreign investors with 30 permitted enterprises. The range of area covered by Indian project includes roads, railway, telecom, power, energy, hydrocarbon, remote sensing, agriculture, industry, IT, healthcare services, and education. Several Indian companies are already made in, in roads such as ONGC Bidesh Limited, Jubilee Oil and Gas, Escort, Tata Motor, Isar Energy, Rights, Apollo, Sipla, Rambaxi, Kadila, Healthcare Lab, etc. The government of India and the government of Union of Myanmar bearing in mind the friendly relations existing between the two countries, firmly believing that the formal delimitation and demarcation of the entire traditional boundary between the Republic of India and the Union of Burma will further strengthen the friendly relation between the two countries. Education is a crucial area where India exercises competitive advantage in Myanmar for building a sustainable academic partnership between the two countries. Myanmar attests high priority to education and is calling to increase investment in this sector, enhancing stro strong academic link between institutions of India and Myanmar and re replicating best learning practices will help in human resource development and contribute to the social and economic transformation of the country. 3,200 kilometers bilateral highway project connecting More and Man More in Manipur to Mesco in Thailand via Myanmar is expected to be completed soon. The building of railroad connectivity Myanmar to other South East Asian countries 
and reviving all rail roads linked from Assam to Vietnam call for much attention. Investment in agriculture, industry, banking sector, education, health, transport and communication is urgently required by India besides its extending sheer in pearls and pulses timber oil and natural gas project last but not the least engagement with the tatmado nld and the ethnic parties and the trek second diplomacy at the level of the civil society cultural and academic access may go a long way in strengthening ties between the two countries while india Myanmar share threat relation in many areas, but post COVID-19 can expand threat relations in areas such as pharmacy, healthcare, transport, food processing, steel, renewable energy, communication, education, and other things can help both the countries to revive. The reason is yet to prepare for opportunity, and there is a big reason to infrastructure and rejuvenate cultural connection. Here, we may emphasize on 3C, such as culture, commerce, and connectivity. Regime transformations and political development in Myanmar since the last few years have Often a new chapter in India Myanmar relations. The traditional relations of friendship and cooperation between the two countries could be defined and identified further to each other mutual benefit. Thank you. Jeju Timare, Jai Hind.